Hi, so right now, uh, I'm gonna study for my Kompaana long test this coming Monday. So our coverage is the skeletal system, so we have to memorize the bones of, uh, of the cat, the turtle, the bat, and the chicken. So what I'm planning to do is to use elaborate rehearsal than just to repeat it. Because I realize that if I just repeat it, I would rely on uh, how much I would remember the words long. So that would be difficult in the sense that what if I forget this part and then I would and then I would eventually forget the other part. So I think elaborate rehearsal would be much more uh, effective than this. But since uh, the, we're not using the part of the bones uh, in normal conversations, I don't really have uh, much knowledge about the relatedness of everything. So what I'm planning to do is to connect it with the uh, with my everyday life, with the things I know already, but they don't really have uh, any connections with comparative anatomy. So for example, uh, here you can see the tibia and the fibula. So since we'll have, we might have an oral exam, so uh, the bones will be presented uh, in front of us and one by one we have to go in front and to uh, point to our teacher uh, the parts uh, that he'll, that he'll uh, tell us to point. So, for, so the tibia and the fibula are particularly hard to distinguish from one another because uh, they happen to be uh, at parallel, so they're hard to connect. So what I'm planning to do is that to connect the tibia from what I already know. For example, I have this I have this blockmate. Her name's Shannon Sibia, and she's uh, this really big girl, really tall, and she always teases me as Bulilit because I'm small. So her name, Sibia, rhymes with Tibia. So if my teacher asked me to uh, point the Tibia, I just, I have to remember that, oh, Shannon. Shannon's this Sibia girl that's really big. So I ha I'll remember that. The tibia is the one bigger than the fibula. So that's what I'm planning to do to memorize this, uh, to memorize the parts. And furthermore, um, for another example is the, uh, the atlas and the axis. So our teacher gave us a way how to memorize this. The, the atlas, you should just remember that the atlas is the one that holds the whole head immediately, the whole skull, it holds the skull immediately. So what we have to remember is the atlas from Greek, Greek mythology, that he had to hold the whole world, like he had to hold the whole world uh, just so he can live. So hopefully I'll get to remember everything and hopefully I'll get to think um, of things I can connect to. The bone so that I would remember them easily. Bye!